Democrats in the Virginia Senate say abortion access is at risk this election season. With lawmakers in North and South Carolina working to restrict abortion, legislators here in the Commonwealth say the pressure is on Virginia. Dana Smith has their message to voters and a look at both sides of the issue. Democrats in the Virginia State Senate say a lot is at stake in the November election, including abortion access. If there was any doubt, let me be clear. Abortion is on the ballot in 2023. Democrats are urging voters to keep abortion top of mind when they head to the polls, warning a Republican majority in the Senate would be enough for that party to pass laws restricting abortion access. They repeatedly tried to pass legislation to ban abortion in every legislative session over the past several years. Governor Glenn Youngkin has already said he would support a 15-week abortion ban with exceptions for rape and incest. If Republicans flip enough seats in the Senate, they'll have the votes they need to get that legislation on Youngkin's desk. Anti-abortion extremists like Governor Youngkin's will stop at nothing until they pass new restrictions on Virginia's reproductive freedom. Senate Democrats are the only people and have been the only people standing between Virginians and an abortion ban similar to the one passed in North Carolina this past year. Polls show the majority of Americans support legal abortion, but it remains a divisive issue. Pro-life supporters say abortion restrictions protect lives. Pro-choice supporters say abortion is a private medical decision. National and state polls show most voters prefer abortion to be legal in most or all cases. I, I can tell you personally, as someone who nearly died in my own pregnancy giving birth, I can say that the stakes are just too high. We cannot let this happen in Virginia. Dana Smith, 13 News Now.